I've never seen so many of the same one. Yeah, me neither. Well, they've all got my name on it. Where's the candy that you guys always send me? Oh, we'll, we'll get to we'll the get candy. There. Yeah. 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 I'm Spencer from the Guitar Gallery. I'm here with my buddies Scott and Tim. Uh, we're gonna do a quick tour. Cool. So tour this it is up. step one. Uh, the guitars get loaded in the lanes. This is called Unbox. So they're unboxing the instrument, making sure the serial number matches on the guitar to the box, making sure all the case candy that's supposed to come with it comes with it. Um, and then from there, they manifest it into our system and select which case populates the website per the serial number. And then that creates this card. Can I see the card there, We ben? love a manifesting king. Yes. <laughs> so it creates this card. Um, so this gives all the 55 points that we do. Um, and then this is an in-house version. So we actually mark where do the accessories go? Are they in, at the headstock? Are they in the gig bag? Are they in the case pocket? Um, we weigh everything nice. and then everything gets initialed as to who works on it as well. Oh, um, accountability. Yep, so it gives the, the SKU number, a uh, little description, a price point, which is super important, um, and then a serial number, which gets scanned at every step of the way. Mm, very Heck cool. Yeah. Uh, from there, they get loaded into the lanes. So there's two types of booths here. Um, there's a Tech 2 booth, which does the bulk of the 55-point inspection, and then there's a Tech 3 booth. Uh, they do repairs, demos, and defect things back to the factory if, it, uh, if we can't fix it. So this is Corey. Um, he's currently in How's it going? Scott, Scott I'm gonna meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Corey is not only a great what guitar player, but he's great at working on him. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is that Tech 2 roll. Um, so they do the bulk of the inspection. So you can see they're doing a cosmetic check. Uh, they have two sets of lights. If you want to hit your light button there. So one is that super bright white shop light, so we can see everything Whoa. under the sun on it. But then if he clicks the button yeah, again, foot switch. That's cool. It goes to more of a yellowish house light. Um, so we'll see what's <laughs> Easier the on the eyes. Yeah, what's the customer yeah. getting when they get at home? And yeah, if you want to look, it's, a, it's just an orange foot switch. So yeah, that controls sick. the lights, and then it that's controls nice. the clean and dirty channels of the amp as well. <laughs> no, I'm gonna switch cool. out all the lights in my house with orange yeah, foot switch pedals. I'm not feeling this. <laughs> so, yeah, that's better. <laughs> So he's going to do a playability check. Um, he's going to adjust the truss rod and action if needed, and then he's also going to correct the intonation. Um, he's going to do a hardware check and then an electronics check as well, make sure that everything's functioning. Um, so if you look at this screen here, um, this screen is built, so when he scans into that, it pulls up the SKU for whatever he's inspecting. So it gives an entire list of all the specs of that instrument, along with a bunch of stock photos, um, the overall average of how long it takes to inspect that in gallery. Um, and then it's also going to tell him what tools he needs to adjust anything on as well, so he doesn't have to guess. So he's not nice. damaging the instrument and he's not wasting his own time guessing between five or six mm -hmm. different Allen wrenches just to adjust the truss rod. Dude, this is, this is scary, bro. You got two minutes, dog. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> some some it's, people it's like to put a sticky dude. note over it just to cover it up. Well, the averages are pretty good. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Can, I, can I sit in the chair? Yeah. Sorry, dude. Your, your uh, session duration's about to... No, yeah, dude. Uh, beautiful. Does it feel nice? Does it pass wow, wonderful your job. Yeah, it's past the inspection. <laughs> cool. Can try awesome. that? I would love to. Press the G, press the D. Yeah. A minor. Mm -hmm. C. Do you want to get crazy? F. Checks out. They can do the F. Well, let's sign passes. this inspection card. Right, you both got to sign it now. Am Some I the lucky final kid inspector? is going to get that. <laughs> do I yeah, need you this? can be the final inspector. All right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I wonder who's gonna get that. I appreciate one. you working on these too, yeah, making All sure right, they're good. Back. So here's a Tech Three bench. So you can see they got a lot more tools. So there's a soldering iron, there's nut files, there's everything they need to do to do a repair in under 15 minutes. Oh wow! Ooh. So this is Danny. He's one of our nice. Tech Three. How's, How's it going, man? So, like I said, they do repairs. Um, they make things in a demo, and then they also deal with sending things back to the factory if we can't fix it in house. Uh, there's also a lot of leadership here, so they're constantly having tech twos come to them asking, what should I do with this guitar? How do I fix it? You know, okay. How can I make yeah. this better? Does this pass? Is that okay? All right, so just to put it into perspective, uh, we can inspect over a thousand guitars a day. 
Um, last year, we touched almost 300,000 guitars throughout our department. Wow, wow. So we see a lot of gear. Crazy. A lot of that is Ibanez's as well. Lovely. So from there, once the carts are fully inspected, oh, it just keeps the guitars going. have passed. <laughs> uh, so they these go, are passers. Yep, That's so the these all went one. into the photo lane. So these are both photo studios. Um, so our photographers can take uh, pictures of 30 to 50 instruments per hour, so that's self, 7 to 12 shots per instrument. Why do they... That includes cropping and uploading to the website. Why, why do we take pictures of each one? Just because? Uh, so customers will be very particular about um, the yeah. color differences and the tops, mm. you know, does it have a nice flame top on it? Well, not every flame top's the same, you know, they're all very different. Yeah. Um, so we actually allow the customers to go and just pick and choose which exact one they want. So all not right, only do nice. we photo all of them, but we also weigh them. Wow. Do you guys both know you don't want a 12 pound instrument all night yeah. on your shoulder, right? <laughs> yeah. So you might go for the lightest weight instrument. So um, we offer that service as well. That's cool, dude. I didn't know you guys took uh, individual pictures of each thing. Yeah, that's yes. wild. That's so many damn guitars to photograph. Every single instrument that comes through here, we photograph. Uh, this is Madeline. Um, she's one of our tune and polish Hi. techs. Hi. Hello. Good to meet you. Nice Scott. to meet you. So she's gonna tune the instrument back up. She's gonna play test every note to make sure there's no playability issues. Um, she's also gonna do a cosmetic check. Um, she's gonna do the hardware check as well. And then she's um, gonna go ahead and log all that data that we've collected from this instrument in our system, um, along with weighing it. So that looks like a guitar stand, but it's actually a stand sitting on a it's scale. It's a weight, Ooh. wow. That weighs it, and she can enter that weight into the system from there. Super yeah, cool. Four and a half pounds. It's so, a pretty oh, sweet okay. gig. Once, yeah. once Madeline clicks save, now that instrument either uploads to our website or allocates to an invoice. So it's kind of the last set of promised eyes before we go, that's a great guitar for our customers wow. as well. There so from this is. point, it's been so polished, back it's tuned box. up, it's ready to go. Now we're going to send it on to Rebox. Wow. So oh, this is this the pick is the... mod. This is where like pedals, strings, picks, oh, tables, cool. all the small stuff that they don't need a machine to go up in the sky to grab is all here. Look at that. Lucky, lucky We're gonna go even too. further too. A fucking machine? Yeah, these guys are pretty advanced. Oh yeah. Angel. Uh -huh. Let's see if this one passed the test. <laughs> well, they've all got my name on it, so they're all mine technically. <laughs> That's right. How many you want to take, dude? You could just take like <laughs> 16 on yeah. tour and start busting them on stage. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. That's awesome. I've never seen so many of the same one. Yeah, me neither. Inspected by Sweetwater. So we got to unwrap all the Christmas presents on that end. Now we're going to wrap them back up. Uh, you can see we got bubble machines, so we're going to box nice. everything up nice and super tight. Um, and then when it's finished being boxed up, uh, you can see over there, we're gonna put our guitar gallery tape on it. It's kind of a seal of approval. Um, we know if that tape has been broken, then we need to reinspect the instrument right from the beginning, just to ensure that it's still that wow. same great instrument that we promised to the customer. Heck cool. Yeah. And then we're getting to the best part. Best part, huh? Once a customer orders something, um, the DC oh, team yeah. pulls it. Um, so you can see here we have blank boxes, so we're actually going to box up the first box into a second box and then these machines turn off a thin layer Well, there's expanding oh, foam inside of them. So they put one at the bottom, oh, cool. throw the box in, and then one on top. So now nice. the box has been double boxed with foam to custom mold around that. Ah. The foam stuff. And then the best part, this is where they throw in the candy. Oh yeah, the candy. The candy. The candy. Pre-packaged. Yo. Heck yeah. Happy taffies all around. Happy taffy, baby. Any questions about any of that? Nah, dude. This is uh this is incredible. Oh, all yeah. right. Well I'm Spencer. Let me know if you guys dude, need anything. Nice I'm to Scott. meet you. Appreciate you man. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much. Yep. Thank you for giving us the tour.